Okay, let's continue. Uh, let's explore this floor after reading that cheesy love poem. Uh, what's this? Why is this? That's like a square thing on the floor. I'm not sure. Hmm. Have a note. Uh, ripped out a book. It reads. I thought it's something that only happens once, but I suppose it makes more sense that it's possible to happen again. There's no such thing as everlasting happiness after all. Or maybe it's just that you need to probably move on from what's ailing you to stay. Let's call it stable. But how do you move on from something like that? Surely it can be done if... The rest of the page is covered in Mr. Black State. Not all these pages are from, I guess, the same book. Hmm. Seems like this door is glowing ominously. <laughs> uh, hold on, is there anything else? Go down here. Got lollipop. Blue lollipop recovers 300 HP. Is hmm. it going to the left? Uh, well, first let's go. Let's check what this is. Ah, never mind. If you listen closely, you can hear people talking. Is there anything else you can do? I'm sorry, we tried everything. Please, there has to be something, anything. I'm sorry. Alright. Guess that's that. Oh, here you go. Okay, so the little, like, things on the floor, it, it represents light. Okay, so I think that's what okay. we can go, actually go in these doors, maybe. Huh? A flower shop? Well, this is different. Uh, yeah, different is a word for it, I guess. Colorful flower display. No prices listed. <laughs> Hello, my name is Drake Raid. Drake, Drake, uh, how do you say that word? Drake Ride? I want to say Drake a Ride. No, um, that doesn't sound right. Drake Raid? I don't know. Uh, how can I help you today? Oh. Hi, nice to meet you. I am, I like your horns. Thank you. Thank you. I like yours as well. Uh, hi. Where the fuck did all this come from? I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. This. We're in a hospital still, right? Um, no. This is a flower shop on the corner of 3rd Street. <laughs> Do you need a hospital? I can call a taxi for you if you like. Huh? I- What? Never mind, we're fine. We don't need a hospital. If you're sure. While you're here, can I just you one of our special bouquets? Uh, I don't know, I mean... Actually, wait. How much money do I have on me anyways? Not that I'm gonna buy, but if I did, how many flowers would you get- Would this get me? Oh, this is... I'm sorry, I can't say I recognize what kind of currency this is. You can't? You folks must not be from around here. I'm sorry, I can't give you anything without proper payment. But if you exchange some currency later, feel free to stop by and buy something, alright? Uh, alright. Okay. Sorry. Give me anything, come back, we got right now, alright. Okay. What if I go behind the counter and take your money? No. This is a robbery! Okay, never mind. It was the front door of the shop. Outside leads to a sunny street. Despite this, the door handle does not move when you try to turn it. Alright, so this is... A non-plastic plant. Hmm. I feel like this is all an illusion. And this is another ghost, I imagine. Well, let's go over here. What's over here? Oh, okay. Same person, but... Huh? Whoa, it's like a whole restaurant in here. How the... Uh, ain't that the way we always do it? I'll share some of my signs, you share some of yours. That's what I'm saying. They should have traded him, he was their star player. They're never gonna make it to the finals like that. This is gonna be my year, I can feel it. Honey, it's already autumn. Fine, I'll cover everything again. Promise, I won't forget my wall next time. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like, I'll cover, as in like, I'll cover over your crimes or something, but no, it's cover the bill. The cake here looks really good. Ooh, do you want to get it for dessert too? Oh, thank goodness you're here. Hello? The restaurant's packed tonight. I can't tend to all these tables by myself. You'll help me, right? Hold on, can you slow down? Come on, please. You take all the tips. I don't care, just help me out. You'll help me, right? Not now. Not now? That means you'll at least come back and help me later, right? Yeah, I'll do the side quest later. <laughs> I'm gonna check out the dialogue first. Uh, did you gonna come on alright? The food is always wonderful here. Thank you. 
She has some nerve, doesn't she? I can't believe that. Wait, she really told you that? Really? Wow. Well? Uh, waiter. Huh? My fiance's in the restaurant right now, but could I request you refill her drink for her? Thanks. Thanks so much. Okay. Where is the washroom? I don't see a washroom in this room. This doesn't look like a place I can leave except to the left, I guess. Alright, okay, fine. Well, it doesn't seem like actually a side quest. Actually, it's the main quest. Oh, thank God. Here, take this dish. Deliver to the gents talking about sports over there. Received appetizer. I should have another dish for you to deliver by the time you do that. Thank you so much. Okay, sports. This, this guy, these guys? Oh, yeah. Uh, appetizer. Thank you kindly. Here, deliver the same with three people. And receive dinner. I wonder what's for dinner. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Got one last table. I'll be honest, I don't remember where this goes. I'm sure you can figure it out. Thank you so much for the help. Uh, not you. Ah, here. Oh, okay, yeah. Talking about dessert, I think. The cakes for us. Thank you so much. Here, take this tip. You're working so hard after all. I got strange money. Uh, oh, thank you. I have the power of a strange money. Can't say you recognize this currency. Thanks for all your help earlier. Maybe it will us both go home early this time. Mm. Oh. Thanks. Thanks. Alright, well, I guess that's it. We got strange money. I, I guess we can use it on the flower. To buy a flower. Uh, I was wondering what's over here, though. I'm assuming, yeah, this is also another place. What the hell? Whoa. Can't even see the end of it. Where are we? There's no way this can be can still be the hospital, right? The glasses, utensils, they're fixed in place. And the cake. Also fixed in place. It looks like any normal cake, but... Feels like it's made out of plastic. Water. Looks like normal water. Picnic basket. Opening a lid reviews just a few napkins. Flower vase. It's, it's empty. You don't want to walk too far and get lost. <laughs> Go on, leave. Who's, who's those people in the distance? Uh, I'm assuming it's the ghost. You know, the ghost of the of the person who, who wrote the love poem. You know, I'm assuming. Hang on here. It's not. Nothing happens. No one left. And the bridge is locked. Never mind. Alright. Oh. Of course, this is like a little mini puzzle. So you go over here and then you buy the flowers. Um. Uh, we got some money now. Oh. oh, really? Wonderful. Pass it over. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? This isn't going to be enough for a bouquet. No. It's not? Oh, but I feel so bad turning you away. Oh, empty-handed again. Uh, here, take this. Received rose. I hope that makes up for things. Thank you. Thank you for your purchase. Come back again. Uh, better than nothing, I guess. Thanks. Alright, well, I guess that's it. We got... Rose. There we go. Before we inevitably have to fight this person. Did I say guy before? I don't know. It, you know. I'm just assuming gender. I don't know. The voice sounds feminine though to me. Um, no idea. Anyway, item. Uh, rose? Rose. A single rose. So pretty. Almost seems fake. I'm assuming you put it in the vase. Something about the picnic ob uh, objects seem to shift. Hey, I think we pick these up now. All right. I don't really need that. Water. Here, I'll take the water. I'll take the utensils. Can't take the cake. Okay, that's not. Uh, well, I mean, they did. Uh, they did mention something about like their fiance and also them wanting a refill on their water. So here's some water. Uh, here's that refill you asked for, I guess. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, this night has just been so perfect. Here, take this. You more than earned it. I got lots of strange money. Wow, this seems like a lot. 
Oh, it's nothing compared to all our help this evening. Take it, I insist. I am even going to tell your boss how wonderful you are. Apologies, what was your name again? Uh, uh Vasilis? No, Vasilis? Vas <laughs> I, I, I already forgot, like, what, how I'm supposed to pronounce it, like, initially. Uh, Vasilis, right? Vasilis. Uh, don't sound unsure of yourself. I promise, I only got good things to say about you. Thank you so much again. Oh, there they go. They gave us so much money. Yeah, I wonder how much this all equals to anyway. But it should be enough for... A bouquet? Maybe? We're back, <laughs> you know, we got money from you, and now we're gonna give it back to you to get the bouquet. Basically a scam. Hello again. Can we buy a bouquet with this? You slide the strange money across the counter. Oh yes, yes of course. Glad we could finally get the situation settled. So, which bouquet would you like? Hmm. Which, which do you think we should get? Oh? Well, I don't know. Um, I think the pink one is really pretty. Maybe that one. A wonderful choice. That rage is my girlfriend's favorite too. A bouquet. Thank you. There you are. I. Uh, oh dear. What is it? I'm sorry. I didn't realize how late it's gone. I've got to leave right away. I've got a very important date tonight. You don't need anything else, do you? Oh, uh, I guess not. Wonderful. I'll be taking my leave then. Have a wonderful rest of your night. And there they go again. Hey, can I see that bouquet for a second? Oh, sure. Hmm. I think there's... Yeah, a key. Oh, nice catch. I don't think I would have noticed that. I guess this is, that, this is about that last room. Okay. Wonderful night, eh? It's a sunny street, though. I take all the flowers. I take all of the flowers. No, I guess not. I take the, I want to take the strange money back. Same game. Got a bouquet. Many pink flowers. Hmm. So we got 702, right? Is that right? 702. No, it's the last room. So this one. They were talking before, right? There are notes on the floor. I wish I married you in an emergency room instead of not at all. I wish I met you sooner and proposed the second I did. I wish I could be happy that you no longer have to suffer. I wish I didn't have to suffer too. I wish that you'd be happy wherever you go. And I wish that when I see you there, you understand why I didn't want to wish anymore. Don't get too hung up about this kind of stuff. I'm sure she's happier outside of those places than in. There's another note here any uh, there's another note here anyways. I won't throw out the last of the flowers, but I don't think I'd be able to handle it if they die in my care. I'm leaving the flowers here, as much as it pains me to leave you in their care again. But maybe they'll at least be able to keep you this part of you alive. Flowers, flowers. Where do we keep flowers here? There's the courtyard on the ground floor, but there's also the rooftop garden. I mean, can we even access either of those though? Mary, come on. I told you, don't get hung, uh, hung up on it. Well. Sorry, I just... You're right, I shouldn't get hung up over it. Let's just see if this bouquet we got fits anywhere. Okay. I'm a little bit confused. Who wrote the poem again? I thought it was the, the person that we've been meeting, right? But then, uh... But then, you know... Uh, Vasily says she, so I'm referring, I'm assuming that's referring to the fiancé. Um, anyway, I, I guess the story is the, yeah, the fiancé, I'm assuming you know, dies in the hospital. Uh, for whatever reason. Right? Or is it the other way around? Maybe. Because we, we see we see the ghosts, you know, of this person. Which, I forgot their name again. It had that name, right? That I didn't know how to pronounce, but... Technically, they're the one that died, right? right? Anyway. What was that? Huh? Something else fell out of the bouquet. What's this? A ring. Huh? Wait, jeez, this is just any... Just any old ring. This is a wedding ring. Really? How do they know? Uh, how do you know? Look at this. That's a diamond. A real diamond. And you can tell? I, uh... I know a thing or two about gems. That's... That's really cool, Vasilis. Vasilis? Vasilis? And you chose to be a janitor? A hey! No way, I didn't mean that in a mean way. Sorry. Can I see it? The ring? Yeah. Uh, sure. I mean, as far as I know, you can't, I don't know, you can't really tell if something's a diamond just by looking at it, can't you? At least, like, a real diamond. You have to have, like, an actual, like, weird, like, what's it, 
microscope thing or whatever to see if the diamond is like natural or like uh, artificially made or something. I don't know. Anyway. He passed the ring to Mary. Diamond, really? I don't think I've actually seen real. What's with that? What's with that face? It's stuck. Stuck? No. I told you to put it on. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's just, I saw it in my hand and it was just an instinct to try and put it on my finger. I wasn't thinking. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Here, let me see. Ow, stop it, that hurts. Well, shit, Mary, what else am I supposed to do? Well... It's not too tight or anything, is it? Just, like, just sitting our fingers, it doesn't hurt? No, it's fine. Right then. Well, just keep it there for now, okay? We'll figure out how to get off later. Alright, sorry. Whatever, let's just put these flowers somewhere. Alright. I was wondering if it was on her, uh, you know, equipment sheet or whatever, but it's not. Oh, well, it's here. An engagement ring with beautiful diamond inside. Mm -hmm. Well, where should we go to with the flowers, I guess? I'm not sure. Hmm. I mean, I guess, uh... We tried going to the roof. We haven't went there yet, technically. Uh, we haven't tried going to the 8th floor either. Oh, it's locked, though. Sorry, the roof is locked. Look, look, lock, 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 locked. Uh, looks like we are getting through here. Just as well. I guess the courier always had the most flowers, and that's what most people see. It's downstairs, right? Yeah, just before the cafeteria. Yeah, this is the thing, by the way. I was wondering if I would have used the axe here as well. But I don't know, maybe the axe wouldn't work there anyway. Let me just go inside the, the pink slime room. Or pink slime elevator room. Which is, well, it's the same elevator, I guess. It's not like multiple elevator rooms. Um, okay, well, let's go to the first floor, I'm imagining. Mm-hmm. Courtyard. I think it was like here, right? So like, yeah. Door of the courtyard is locked. Mm -hmm. Damn, so locked. How are we supposed to get in? Vasilis, do you hear that? Yeah, actually I do. Is that coming from the cafeteria? Alright, back to the cafeteria. Make some more marshmallow burgers? No, it's actually... It's party time, I guess. Hello? He's holding on to some pretty nice stuff, but... I don't know, he has a lot of junk too. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, sorry, I was just thinking to myself. Don't mind me. I can't believe the vending machine ate my money. Who thought I'd have to worry about problems like that? Okay. What are you looking at? I mean, nothing you haven't seen before. There's like a faceless shadow being. Mm, you're interesting. I wonder what happened if something happened to you here. What? Is that a threat? Oh, someone like you get here. Oh well, enjoy your stay. I'm so bored. There's nothing to do. I guess I could play cards, but what am I saying? No way. I'm just gonna stand in this corner forever. For all of eternity. They keep saying I'm crazy, but I have to keep playing against him. I don't care if I can, uh, if I can get what he originally promised. I just want my stuff back. All out of money. All out of money. I'm all out of money. I love playing card games. This sucks. Alright, who is this guy? Who is this, like, um, scam artist? The, what the, what's going on here? Who the hell are you? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> you hear that, fellas? They don't know who I am. Ain't that rich. Hee ha ha. Alright, alright, let's get it out of the way. Okay, my genitorial friend. Okay, well, well, uh, I guess, I don't know, just like a very... I don't know what kind of voice you're supposed to give him, but... Like, but um, but yeah, the name's Helindrix. Helindrix Vandacord. Uh, I deal in cars like you deal in chemicals, my genitorial friend. I'm basically repeating what the voice actor said, but anyway. Uh, I... Okay. What are you doing in here? We're filing our taxes. 
dumbass. I told you, we're playing cards. Well, fucking yeah. But where'd you, where'd you come from? This place was completely empty before. How'd you get in here? Uh, more importantly, do you know the way out? The way out. You're killing me, Smalls. Hee hee ha ha. Yeah, you're alright. Come sit, play around with us. I don't do it, man. I'm out of my life savings. My death savings. Not my fault you don't know when to stop. So, wanna play? No thanks. We really don't have the time. Oh, come on. You could win a prize. A prize? Like what? Hey, what the fuck? Where'd you get the courtyard keys? Yep. You want them? You want them? You got them. Or something. I don't know. What was that? I, I, I forgot the meme already. Um... Bombs? Rope? Lamp oil? You want them? You uh, got them, my friend. Or I forgot. I already forgot the meme. Anyway, whatever. <sighs> then play a round of us. Please, Mr. Uh, Vandercourt, you said. It could be important for us to get into the courtyard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's, the, uh, what's that you got there? What do you mean? Your finger. Like I miss a gemstone that big. You married or what? To, uh, you married or what? Uh, how do you say that? You, you married or what, toots? Oh no, I just... We found it, it got stuck. I'll tell you what. Give me that ring and the key is all yours. I don't know. Do you have to? I think it might belong to someone. Oh no, no, you don't have to do anything. But I don't gotta give the keys either, do I? Now we simply kill him. We simply murder him now. You good? Um, you know, whatever. It might just be easier for everyone if we do this stupid card game. Like you said, it's probably somebody's, and it's not like we can get that ring off your finger right now anyway, so... Yo, chatterboxes. Ring for keys, we got a deal or what? I think we'll, you can have it. If it'll get us closer to getting out of here, well... Wonderful. Lovely. But, uh, this is the issue... There's still the issue I can't get it off my finger. Not a problem, doll. Give your hand over here. <laughs> this is gonna cut it off or something? Uh, Hillendrix grabs Mary's hand and effortlessly slides the ring off of it. What? Who's that? Huh? Ah, how'd you do that? A good magician never reveals his secrets, sweetheart. But a trade's a trade. Here's that key. Come back to play any time. I got the courtyard key. What's that look for? I'm just kind of surprised that you did that, I guess. It's well, if we can't get in the courtyard, what else are we going to do? If we want to leave and I have on to it, I'll be holding us back from doing that. Just a ring, right? I just hope he'll find his way back to where he belongs somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably will. Things like that usually do. Alright. <laughs> ah, ah, okay. Nelson from The Simpsons. Uh, you find a way out yet? Hmm. What if I do want to play a game? What do I want to play for that ring? No, I guess not. Bomb? Lamp oil? Rope? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rupees. Yeah, that's what... I'm sorry, Link. I don't do credit. Come back when you're a little... Mm, richer. Freaking like... Zelda CDI memes. It, it was used often in, in YouTube poops. Uh, here you go. Here's the courtyard, by the way. Looks very strange. Also, slimes? Who's doing that? Who's doing that noise? Not sure. Or is it just, or it was just, maybe it was just us just walking over tiles. I don't know. Oh, we put the bouquet there. <laughs> That's a very lazy way. I, I thought I was going to plant it or something, but is that how it works? I don't know. If you already cut the flowers, can you like put them back in the ground? I don't know how, if that's how it works. I think you do that for some trees. You know? if, they, if a tree gets like cut down or whatever, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe not. I don't know. I, I think some plants you can like put it back in the ground after you cut it, but. Not all plants. Uh, well, the flowers are here. Now what? Ah, monster time. That's what? Bridezilla? <laughs> okay. It's, it's Bridezilla. Funky colors. Um, well. Okay. The same old moves, by the way. I don't have any different moves. Um,. I feel like this one's better. I infect you. Alright, Zilla is very sick. Ow, ow.
I'm assuming... I don't know, I'm getting confused a little bit. So, there's the fiancé, obviously, and there's... There's the, um... The other person, the flower shop guy. I say guy. I don't know if it's a guy or not. Um, I think the silly uses, uses the pronoun them, right? So, I think it's just non-binary? I'm not sure. Anyway, um... So yeah, there's there's the other person. I wonder if they're the ghosts or seems like this person is also a ghost. So like, is there, are they both dead? <laughs> you know, that's what I'm wondering. Maybe they both died. Is that how it works? Oh, you know, I'm just thinking like morbidly, like maybe it, um, you know, the person who was dying. Uh, I'm assuming the bride maybe on their deathbed. You know, on her deathbed. Uh, they got, they, you know, they, uh, decided to get married or whatever, even though she was dying, is the idea. But obviously she died anyway, and then, uh, the flower shop owner followed afterwards, as in they committed suicide? I don't know, it's kind of dark, but maybe that's what happened? Not sure. Yeah, this isn't gonna work out. I think I lost. Mary is alive, but I don't know if she's strong enough to, to solo this boss. I doubt it. But, you know, we can still try. You can give her a best shot. Come on, Mary. Just beat this monster with your IV stand. <laughs> you just swing it around. No, you're dead. Okay. Vasilis party is out. And game over. We're freaking dead. We died. Alright. And this is when I grind, I guess. This is when you just just grind in the game, I guess. Um, alright, I mean we just go back to the second floor. It seems like the second floor is the only part where we actually fight monsters, so you just go to the second floor, fight all the monsters, and come back. That's what you're gonna do, I guess. Alrighty. Fight some. Fight some slimes. Hey, let's fight some slimes. Oh, this is not even slimes. This is, this is a different monster. What the heck? Okay. Stethoscape snake. Stethoscape snake. You know, I thought the little sprites that you see on the overworld represents the actual um, monster, but actually, not always, I guess. No, this is it. This is gonna be a lot of grinding. Maybe for YouTube, I'll show it. You know, I'll show the battles every time there's like a new monster. But otherwise, I imagine it's gonna be a little bit boring. Fight monsters all day, just attack, attack, attack. Especially, there's not a lot of options really. All right, so we're back here. I basically just went back to the second floor, grinded some monsters, got more XP and gold. Everyone's like level five now. I say everyone's just just Vasilis and Mary. Um, and I got more strawberry milk as well. Got seven of it. So maybe this time I won't die. Let's see. Uh, I guess I might as well just use You know, hyper, uh, what, hyper perfection, whatever, like the hyper status kind of sucks. You know, unless you're in a very, you know, very niche situation where the enemy is like low health and like they're about to die, but you need a little bit more attack, then maybe it's worth it. But usually it's not. <laughs> the, the HP loss is just too significant. Anyway. Makes me very sick. Ow. Attack. And just attack. Just keep attacking. That's it. Not Again, not a lot of options, really. In terms of the combat. What? Oh, sleep. That's kind of bad. There's no way to cure that, really, unless... Bridezilla attacks Vasilis again. No, actually didn't wake up. What the heck? You would think when you got hit, you would wake up. No. Oh, there you go. Alright, so Vasilis, dual attack. Use one of, you know, a lot, a lot of strawberry milk in my pockets, so might as well use them. Attack, and attack. Attack, attack. Attack, 
funky music, by the way. I mean, overall, you know? Very, um, how do you, how do you say? It's like a rave part, you know? So far, in this game. Mm -hmm. oh, almost dead. All right. Uh, attack. Mary, you will drink some strawberry milk. Therefore, I'll die. Because that's how it works, you know? Mm. Drink again, just in case. Also has a side effect of increasing my MP back. Good. <laughs> I'm going to use them on my, on my milk now. Uh... Cause I can, then I can use Ruin again. Stop fighting me. Stop. Dual attack. Okay. Back attack. Are you dead? No, not yet. Mm. Oh, mouse. I think you're pretty much dead at this point. Yep. Just, just finish her off. There you go. We win. Huh? Oh, oh my goodness. Are you two all right? <laughs> you know, I didn't, you know when, when I scratched your faces with my giant claws, you know, it didn't hurt, did it? Oh. I'm so sorry. I have no idea what came over me. I... Sorry, I didn't really mean that last shout at you like that. I just... Gosh, I've been so miserable. The more time I spend here, the more alone I feel. Worst of all, I lost. My ring? My ring! The tears just, like, gush out at extreme velocity. Oh, no, no. Where did my ring go? Oh, no. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Without it, I really am. Alone. Hey. Wait, hold on. You're not alone. We're right here, see? Wah! I don't mean you guys. <laughs> you know, you guys are losers. I don't care about you. Uh, it's a uh, vast a ring. We, I know, we gotta get that ring back. <laughs> Wah! Boo hoo! Anyway, well, let's see the game. All right. Well, time to talk to you know the scam artist. And totally not lose all her money. Oh. Oh, good, you're still here. Ah, my two favorite people. <laughs> Janitor, what's their name, and Dollface Freak Show. Can I help you find folk of anything? I know it hasn't been that long, but we need that ring back. No. Fat chance. Huh? Please, Mr. Vandercore, we found who he belongs to. Okay. Look, I'll even give you the stupid key back, okay? As if. That's not how it works. You know, it's capitalism. I, you know, when we trade, I get more of a benefit than you do, so you can't refund it, you know? We made a deal, and I don't do no takesy-backsies. Can we do another trade then? Something or other for the ring. Hmm. Yep. Tell you what. Win a game against me, I'll give you the ring back. That's if we win. What happens if we lose? Nothing. Nothing at all. Really? You sure about that? Honest, honest, Scout's honor. I just want someone new to play with. The rest of these chumps are starting to bore me. I'll even make it easy for you. We'll just play a guessing game. No skill required. They they always say that, by the way. Freaking like, you know, like scam artists is like in like downtown or whatever. Oh, like in, in like in any city you live in, you know, like a like a close to like a tourist attraction. They always say, like, oh, it's it's easy, you know, all you gotta do is guess, you know, which, uh, which, the uh, ball, you know, or which cup this ball is in, and it's really easy, and they, they let you win, like, a few times, but then, when, when they empty up the stakes or whatever, that's when you lose, because they do a little trick, where, you know, no matter what, you'll lose, but anyway. Come on, you have literally nothing to lose. For some reason, I have trouble believing that. But you promise, that if we win, we get the ring back. Hey, like I said, Scout's Honor. Alright. When you're ready to play, take a seat across from me. Best of luck to you. Hmm. Alright, well. Play the card guessing game. 
Alright, let me explain to you the rules. I've got five cards here. Each of them has a character with a different facial expression. I'll pick one out of the deck and you tell me which expression you think is on the card. If you get it right, you win. Should be simple enough, it's a one in a five chance. You should be able to win easily. <laughs> well, that said, what's the expression on my card? Um... It's happiness, sadness, anger, surprise, fear. I don't know. Mm, I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to pick this one. Happiness. Oh, it's sad. Damn it. No. Oh, close but no cigar. So sad, I really thought you had it. Oh, whatever. I guess I'll play again, right? Of course, as many times as you need. <laughs> Here we go again. What's the expression on my car? Mm, this one. Fear. Oh, almost had me there. I felt it in my bones. It's fine. I just have to be playing till I get it right. That's right. As soon as you get it right, the ring is yours. He's obviously like... <laughs> you know, he's obviously tricking us, but... Okay, fine. Let's do it again. Third time's the charm. What's the expression on my card? I will choose... Surprise. No, it's fear again. Nope. Oh, lost again? What a shame. Oh, buddy, you really gotta step your game up. At this rate, you'll never get that ring back. Ah, but who cares about that old thing? We're having so much fun playing together. You should forget about it. He has to be ringing this somehow. What can I do to win? Hmm. Mary, you got anything to say? Oh, never mind. We're just having a normal conversation. Uh, what do you do in your free time? Me, uh, play guitar if that counts. Why wouldn't it count? Well, I don't know, it's not like I really played anymore for anyone. I just sit in my room and strum a few chords every now and then. But that's really cool, what kind of guitar is it? Just a normal acoustic guitar, it's like fancy. Acoustic guitar, how nice. Thanks for telling me. Uh, sure, no problem. Okay. I also play, well, I say, I was gonna say I also play guitar, but not really. I've, I've, ne I've never kept up with it. And I never got, got to the point where I'm any good at it. <laughs> and I, I never really uh, bothered to really, pre you know, get better. I don't know. It's just, just like, you always hit a plateau, I feel like. You know, every aspiring musician, you know, you always get to the point where you're like, you know, you, at first it's like really fun. You get to learn a bunch of chords and you play your like little simple songs. But then you get to the point where you actually have to play an actual song, like real musicians. And it's like really hard as it turns out. <laughs> so... And you have to like turn it into like a full-time job if you want to like be any good at it, but like, you know, you don't have time for that, so. I don't know. <laughs> you only have time, you know, for all your hobbies, I feel like. And my hobby right now is just play video games, so. You know, instead of like doing something in my life, I'm gonna play video games. How about that? Anyway, um, back for more. What's the expression of my card? I don't know. Fear. Nope. Surprise! And you lose. Better luck next time. Hmm. What can I do to win? Mirror, maybe? There are mirrors I can use. Can go in here. Uh, what the? Who are you? I never saw you here before. Uh, hello? Hey. Oh, hey. I was starting to feel like it was just me here. Huh. What are you doing here? I'm uh, sorry. I was just so hungry. I couldn't wait around any longer. I had the feeling that no one's going to come around and ask what I wanted right now. Hey, are you one of Ollie's friends? Uh -huh. Huh? Ollie's here? Yeah, they said that their friends were in the hospital and that they were looking for them. Ah, oh, shoot. Ollie, that's sweetheart. I better go look for them then. I hate to keep them waiting. They can get a uh, real worried sometimes, you know? Oh. You just gonna go off on your own? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Don't sweat it. See you around. Mitzi has been added to the characters in the menu. Mitzi. Okay. Uh, hopefully she She'll be fine. Uh, Mitzi received a broken arm from a car crash early in the day and staying in the hospital overnight. She says the pain hasn't been bothering them ever since the lights went out and that they're content just waiting around as long as she you know, listens to her music. Okay. Hmm. 
what's that gender symbol? I'm gonna be honest, I got a little bit confused. It is a she, right? I'm not misgendering. Am I, am I misgendering people again? This is a habit I have. Um, yes, yeah. Mary obviously has the, the women's gender symbol, whatever. Was it like based on Neptune? I can't remember. It's like, I don't know. But like, that is slightly different. So I don't know. Is that intentional? I think it is. What does that mean? I have no idea. Anyway. Hmm. Can you help me? Can you help me, like, cheat, please? Like, someone just, just go behind his back, you know, and do, like, signs or whatever. Let me know which card he has. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> what if I just kill him? What if I just put my broom handle, like, from behind, Put it in front of his neck and just pull, you know? Just kill him. <laughs> just kill him. No, I'm. Um... I don't know what to do to win, bro. <laughs> I put my mop away. You know? I put my medical mask away. That doesn't. I don't think that. Take off your eye patch. Unlock your powers, Mary. No. It doesn't actually do anything. It's just items. Hey, um, oh, never mind. What is it? No. I want to ask you something. It might be a little rude. Oh, don't do that bullshit. I'm already here. Listening. Say what you're going to say. You dye your hair. You dye yours. I, um, sorry. I knew it'd be rude. Because I've never seen a deer with hair like that before. I guess you haven't met a lot of deer. I guess not. Okay. I mean, I just assume in anime, everyone does not dye their hair. Everyone just naturally have rainbow colored hair. This is how it works. Anyway, um... Okay, well, the talk option doesn't seem to do much. It's just talking to Mary, which is just normal conversation, really. The whole point is that he, he's always gonna rig it so you don't pick... You're, not, you're never gonna win, is the whole point, but... Uh, what can I do to win? I don't know. Like, tell Mary to, like, stand behind him and tell, uh, you know, do sign hand signals. That's what I'm saying. What? You had to like interact with this particular chair here. Oh my god. That's what I wanted to do in the very okay. How long have I been stuck on this? I literally just like I, I, I checked every little thing. I interacted with every little NPC. I went through up the floors and down the floors again, checked every room. And it's like my initial idea was to go behind him and, and check the cards. I didn't know you like you had to click on this chair in particular. That wasn't obvious to me. I don't know, man. Maybe it's super obvious to everyone else, but like, I kind of wish there was a bit of an indication, you know, that you're supposed to interact with this chair in particular. <sighs> and I'm angry. You know, my, you know, one of the expressions, my expression is anger. No, um, Mary, do you think you sit here? Oh, sure, but why? If you sit, I think it'll give you a good vantage point to see what expressions on the cards. When a Helendrix draws a card, you see the expression on it, then mimic it to show me what's on it. Wow, that's a great idea. <laughs> Why didn't I think of it? Sure, wait here. Okay. That's what I thought initially. I thought... I don't know. But like, there wasn't a way to like, communicate that. I didn't know you were supposed to actually click, like, interact with this chair in particular to... to set that up. Uh, go play against Mr. Vandercork and I'll help you out. I'll help you win. I'll help you, help you out. I'll help you win. Alright, so it was that easy. Okay. I, I was like thinking it was the hardest puzzle in the world because I didn't know what you're supposed to do. You just get an item, you're supposed to like talk to someone, get a hint, but like, no, you're supposed to interact with this chair. I'm angry. <laughs> That's the expression on my card. Uh, Mary sits across from you behind Helendrix. After a moment, it's happiness. After a second, Mary looks confused, but Helindrix's face doesn't change. Then... Mary points to a new expression on her face, one of sadness. Sorry, champ, it's... You grab the card from Helindrix's hand. Sadness. I changed my mind. It's a sad card. Yeah, just, yeah, just you know, it's like rock, paper, scissors. Just change your mind at the last second. That's how it works, right? Alva. Gotcha. I'll be taking that ring now. 
I suppose a deal's a deal. The ring is yours. Thank you very much, Mr. Vancor. It's a really big help. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But, uh, I did have a ball playing of use. Come back any time, we'll play another round. Who knows? Maybe I'll give you something special if you win. Really? That sounds fun. Of course, of course. Just promise not to cheat next time. Oh, oh well. I won't cheat either, right? I don't have much use for people like you. People like, uh, thanks? And the has been added to character's menu. Okay, I, I feel like the whole thing will be like a cute little thing about like, you know... About, uh, about like, um, playing a card game. But like, that really pissed me off, to be honest. Like, you're supposed to just interact this chair. This chair that like, blends in with the background. I can barely see it. No, uh, <laughs> anyway. And like, all the other chairs look the same to me. And like, these chairs you don't normally get to interact with anyway. And like, you click on them and nothing happens. Anyway, um... Let's just read this character for a while. Alright, Elendrix. Elendrix Vandekor, at least that's the name he introduced himself by. Shading in more ways than one, Elendrix is a ghostly, mysterious dealer and avid player of card games. He seems very knowledgeable about the state of things, but alas with the prospect of finding a way out. Okay. Well, we're gonna save the game. Uh, we could continue playing with Elendrix. He did say, like, we get something from it, I guess. Is it like, is it just based on chance, I guess? It's just, it's gonna be like actual chance. Instead of like cheating this time, it's gonna be like one, in a, one out of five, whatever. Actually. Hello again, Desperate Escapees. Say, you look like one son of a gun today. How about a nice game of cards? When you're ready, play, take a seat across from me. Alright. Cost 30 bucks now. But this time it's real. Mmm, I mean, this time it's just gonna be a guessing game. It's like, sadness. Nope. Wrong. Keep playing. Sadness. Nope. Wrong. Keep playing. I'm gonna just pick the same one. Nope. So, surprise this time. Okay. Uh, sadness. Like, it doesn't matter what you choose. It's good. Assuming it's the fair, you know, probability, it's always gonna be one out of five, really. So, it's no matter what, you're just gonna pick the same card no matter what. There you go, finally. <laughs> Well, look at that! You win a prize! Hope it's to your liking. I got tea? That sucks! Not worth it at all. Sadness. It's a horrible prize. Come back when you're a little... Mm, richer. Okay, that sucks. You know, that's just... It's a horrible prize. That's gonna be like a cool prize, like a weapon or something. And that's, that just sucks. That's not worth it at all. Anyway. Alright. So we got the ring back. Finally. Probably in YouTube, I'll cut most of it out. But like, I did really actually scour the entire hospital. Because <laughs> I thought the, you know, finding, um... Well, what's, what's her face? Uh... Actually, I forgot her name. What was her name again? Uh, Mitzi. I thought finding Mitzi was actually a clue that you're supposed to actually go around the hospital and find an item to help you cheat or something, you know? Or like to win the card game, but no, that wasn't it at all, actually, I guess. Anyway, here's, here's the diamond. <laughs> is that my... Oh, it is. It is my ring. Yes, your ring's back. So please don't cry anymore. Uh, right, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sure you can imagine how important this ring is to me. Looking at it now, it's reminding me of all the happy moments spent with my dears. Thank you. I am overjoyed to have this back. Though more than anything, I just... Oh, I wish how I could see them again. Uh, what do you mean? I'm right here. They're right there. Huh? I still can't say that name. How you say that? Drake? Drake or Reed? Dr Dr Drake. <laughs> Can I just say Drake? Mm, I don't know. Uh, Dr Dr uh, Drake or Reed? Drake or Reed? Is it really? <laughs> It's always a pleasure to see you, Minnie. I feel so silly. I was so caught up in my memories. I forgot you can't just live in the past. I never wanted things to turn out this way. But at least you can spend the present together. Again. <sighs> or present the... Anyway. <laughs> no, spend our times in the present together again. Aw. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Cringe. This is cringe. No, uh, it's cute, I guess. Oh. Um, Vasilis, was it? 
May I ask you one last favor of you? Huh, huh me? You see, Miss Bella and I were supposed to get married back when we were, you know. And we weren't able to because, well, but now we're finally together again. I want to get married as soon as possible. As soon as possible would be. Right now. And we want you to officiate it. Huh? You could even be our something blue. Something blue? Huh? I don't know what that means. Uh, what? Me? Why? I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I don't even know what to say. Should I try? Though I do feel like you're better suited for it. It's not what? Please. We'd be so very appreciative. Alright, fine. Just stop looking at me like that. And we're a janitor, we're a crime scene cleaner, we're a waiter. Now, you know, we're a priest, I guess, or something. I, I don't know, it depends. Um, our wedding's always, you know, religious. I'm not sure. Like, is there like a, like a secular equivalent of someone who officiates weddings? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, but I'm going to do it quick. Don't get upset if I've got no idea what I'm talking about. Um... Uh, we a few are gathered here today to celebrate the union of, um, Miss Bella, Gregoried. Sure. And do you take each other to, uh, love and to hug? No, wait, hold, it's hold. For as long as you both shall, uh, whatever your state of living is right now. Yes. I do. Yes. I do. And by, by the power vested in me, which is not much really, which is virtually nothing, I declare you married. You may now uh, kiss or whatever. Mooch. Good. That was stupid. I feel stupid now. <laughs> oh, don't say that. I think it was really nice that he did that for them. You think so? Mm -hmm. Of course I do. Look how happy he made them. I mean, don't you feel good about it? Well... I'm supposed to, right? Maybe a little. After all, it was a nice thing, wasn't it? And yeah, they seem nice. They probably deserve it. I mean, disregarding when Miss Bella tried to kill us earlier. But don't you think I fucked it up just a bit? My dumbass didn't have any idea what I was supposed to say. No, I think it was a sweet wedding. I promise. Hey. And very cost efficient as well. You know, real weddings in real life are very expensive. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I just thought I might give you a hug. <laughs> I, I thought it was a physical attack. You know, as like reassurance, I guess. I don't know. I just thought... No. Please don't do that again. <laughs> don't touch me. You should at least ask first. Oh. Oh yes, of course, you're completely right. Sorry again. They've been added to the menu. Because they're together. Uh, Drinkery <laughs> Miss Bella. Uh, lovebirds reunited, thanks to your help. They'll remain together until, uh, eternity? They seem happy though. enough though. Perhaps true love always finds its way back to you. Good. Great. I guess Miss Bella is, has wings, by the way. Fairy? Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, Mary. I wanted to thank you. Me? Why? Yes. What a lovely flowers. Oh, sure. I just thought that was a previous bouquet, so... Not just these ones. All of them. Huh? I don't understand what she means, Vass. I don't know. <laughs> Here. I found this on the way over. This isn't much use to us, but maybe be used to, uh, be of use to you. A key. Yeah, this should help us, thanks. Of course. Be careful out there, okay? We'll try. I got 601 key. Thank you. Thank you both again for hosting your little wedding. It wasn't exactly how we pictured it going when we planned it, but I'm happy it was something we were still able to do. Well, as, long, as long as you're happy, I guess. Yeah, okay, well, I don't know. I don't know what the circumstances of how they died, uh, both of these people, but... um. I'm assuming it's disease or whatever it was, but I guess, you know, they were a couple, but like, obviously they were separated by death. But now they reunited. Isn't that sweet? Now, how does the afterlife work? You know, don't you like stay there forever as a ghost or you eventually move on? Or do you turn into like weird monsters anyway? <laughs> you know, because you stay in the afterlife for too long. You know, isn't that like the whole thing about like if you stay as a ghost for too long, you turn into like a resentful monster i don't know anyway um all right i mean let's just continue on let's go to the sixth floor i guess the hell is someone using the elevator again i think we have to take the stairs for now 
Hmm. Well, I can't really get past the stairs, can we? There's like a barrier usually on the third floor. But, oh, it's gone now. Huh. That strange goo from before disappeared. Strange. Well. Hey, do you hear that? Hear what? Something's coming up the stairs. Um... Why are we hiding? Whatever it is, it can't be worse than the weird stuff we already come across, right? It's this guy. Oh? Oh, it's you and... Uh, Mary, I was uh, making sure she was safe. Yes. Yes, Mary. No one's saying anything. It's awkward. <laughs> um, Dr. Tetra. Really, she's been safe from me, promise. We've been trying to find a way outside to stay even safer. Right. The whole blackout happening right now. Do you know how that happened? How would I know? No need to get snippy. Wait, I was just... But yes, I understand. I've been trying to look for an exit too. Also, I've had no luck. In fact, you two are the only people I've seen since the hospital's been like this. Oh, that's strange. We've run into quite a few people. I suppose I'll join you both then. Strength in numbers, yes? Yeah, of course. Dr. Tetra joined your party, and he's totally not sus. Judging from his previ uh, previous appearances in uh, the developer's previous games, which I think was only one, as far as I know. It was the original one, Cemetery Mary. I think. Did he appear in the other, other games? I can't remember. Anyway. Well now, where were you two headed before I ran into you? Oh, uh, we have this key for room... Where? Good lord, an earthquake. Actually, I think it came from... Over there? Alright. Oh, it's a shop? Open! Sale! All right. Oh, you're here, apparently. Oh, oh you're here. Hey, you found your way over here? Yeah. Yep, things are pretty cozy in here. And there's food and stuff here, too, so I don't gotta worry about screwing around the kitchen like some sort of rat. No. Shouldn't you have gone back to your room instead of crawling your way over here? A buzz off, Reginald. You know, it's really messed up to get admitted to your hospital, and you don't even come to check up on me. What kind of baby brother are you? Huh? Baby, I'm older than you. Yeah, but you act like a huge baby. I, I don't have time for this nonsense. You don't have time for a lot of things, apparently. Uh, let's get going. Okay. I didn't know you two were siblings. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting lore. Alright, who are you? Um, um hello? Hey, sugar. <laughs> okay. Can I do something for you? I'm sorry, what is this exactly? A shop. You're here to buy. <laughs> if you got something pretty, I could maybe buy it off you too. I... No. You can't be serious. Excuse me. Your wares. They already belong to the hospital, don't they? Do you really expect us to buy something you already have the rights to use? Yes. Alright, at this point I'm over it. It's fine, Dr. Tetra, I have the money. Excuse me. That doesn't matter. It's the principle of the thing. It's... Actually, uh, Miss Nurse, we have a bit of a problem. See, we have this key, room 601. And, uh, your store is kind of blocking where that door would have been. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, honey bun. I didn't mean to cause you any trouble. Here, let's do a little exchange. Uh, you pass her key. And you got basement elevator key. How, the, how did you get your hands on this? Aleda never reveals her secrets. I hope that keeps us on friendly terms, sweetheart. Anything else I can do before you, uh, for you before you go? Alright. Okay, so now we can just buy stuff. Um, yeah, okay, I was thinking you can buy better, uh, equipment. Okay, I should have saved my money. <laughs> um, syringe. Okay, so we can buy the old items for some reason. These are the default items we have. Do you lose them somehow? I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe just in case you sell them. Uh, but we also have Blue Maid Mop. Brand new. ICIV. And uh, Sharpened Syringe, I guess. 
I guess Dr. Tetra is actually in our party now. I guess he uses syringes. A super soaker mop. We could just save for the best item then. Hmm. Melty IV. Sharpest syringe. Also better items. Okay, <laughs> you know, I just want to like grind now. That's what I want to do. Um, eye patch, doctor's coat. This is a decorated mask. Mask of a fancy design. Classic eye patch, like a pirate. Arg. Detail coat. And even better items are the best items. N95 mask. Eye patch. And expensive coat. The golden trim. Hmm. I don't know. I can also buy like uh bandage. Okay, so I can buy like these items to cover a lot more HP than the drinks we get from the vending machines. Um uh, MP potions as well. Uh defibrillator, so that's good for like reviving. Gosh, I don't know. Mm, selling I don't know if selling is worth it. I don't know what it would sell. Like. Uh, who are you? Me? You don't need to worry about it. I just figured I would stop by while everything is still fun. Besides, I think uh, who you are is much more interesting. What happened in the hospital? The hospital? Well, it could be a lot of things. What do you think happened? I don't know. The lights went out and everything since has been so bizarre. I have absolutely no idea what all this could be about. Not even going to wager a guess. What would I even guess? Fair enough. But if you ask me, I think it's because someone overlooked an important detail. Like what? I tell you, but I don't think it's my jur it's in my jurisdiction to say. Why are you selling this stuff? What? Do you think I'm just allowed to give this stuff away for free? Because I am. But where's the fun in that? The challenge? The feeling of success and accomplishment? Achievements, I guess. If all due respect, ma'am, it'll make my job a lot easier. And when's the last time something good ever came easy? Maybe right now you just gave me the stuff for free. You're so funny. I like funny. Um, you know how to get out. <laughs> That's hysterical. Aren't you a riot? It wasn't a joke. Hilarious. Anyway. Okay. Just no answer. Um. Oh, I don't know. Mm. Super soaker mob. I mean, I think it's just better to get the better item, you know? They just skip to the best item, so... I guess I'll just get the Super Soaker Mop. I use up all my money, but, you know. Nurse has been added to characters. Okay, I'm just not like that. I guess I could sell it as well. Might as well sell that. 20 go. I just want to grind. <laughs> I just want to, like, uh, RPG just grind. Get all the items and then come back, you know, so this is what I'm gonna do right now. Now that the shop is open. A strange nurse. Hmm. A strange nurse has appeared alongside a mysterious shop. She appears to be an ally, but her motivation for buying and selling things off of you seems to remain a mystery. Hmm. I mean she's she looks totally different, but like the stitches kinda reminds me of uh Fran, you know, from Frank and Fran. One of my favorite manga ever. Very gory manga, but I like it. Um, can I talk to... Yeah, I can talk to the doctor here. The, the good doctor here. Um, you jingo a lot. Huh? Like walking, you jingo a lot. What are you carrying? Oh, <laughs> it's a bunch of junk mostly. Pens, no pants, my house keys, etc. I'm sorry, I must be quite noisy to, no to walk with. It's fine, I just... Hope we won't need to sneak around quietly anywhere. Alright, I guess that's it. Um, it's a vending machine that I can buy the usual stuff from. I do feel like using the shop here is much better. They heal for much more. But I guess the drinks are like, you can heal uh, MP and HP, at least milk. So there you go, I guess our next destination would be, um, as I just, you know, walk back and forth for no reason, it would be the basement. Yeah, go to the basement now. Let's do that, I guess. Let's go to the creepy basement. Huh. You guys smell that? Mm. I don't know if I call it a smell. It's more like the air feels a bit salty. Is it okay to go in? Got no choice. 
Is this elevator ride supposed to be so long? It does feel a little long, doesn't it? Ah! What was that noise? I'm sure we're almost at the bottom. Blah. Ugh. What happened? Uh, Vasilis, are you okay? That was... I don't know what that was. Hey, you don't feel hurt, right? I... No. No, actually. I mean, at least not how I would expect to be. I feel a little sore, I guess, but like... It just feels like I fell on the floor, not from an elevator crash. Yeah, me too. Well, we ought to start walking. The elevator's gone. It what? It's gone. Look behind you. Damn it. I, I should have went to the second floor to like, you know, grind more XP and gold. Now it's too late. Whoa. You could have warned me about that sooner. What the fuck? I think it still might just be falling down. Hmm. I wonder how we got spat out of it then. Does this mean we're stuck down here? No, we're not. There's stairs here too, of course. But we'll have to get to them first. You know, assuming we don't find an exit before then. Alright. And those are further up. Opposite area of the elevator. Right. Alright. Okay. Yeah. We're like in a weird ocean place. This is very Yume Nikki, you know? We turn this is Yume Nikki town, I feel like. I think it's kinda weird. And surreal. Uh, are these enemies, by the way? Yep. Okay. Weird bat things? Like heart pump bat things? I don't know. Squid fawn. Squid fawn? Very well attack. Uh, Dr. Checha, what do you have? Uh, you can soothe. You can heal. You can use a remedy. So these are just... Okay, so it's just Kier, Kira, and Kiraga. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, team restore... You can't use that though. That's more than his maximum MP. And MP restart. Well, well there you go. Now we have, have we have an actual healer, by the way, which is nice. We have an actual cleric. You always need a cleric in your RPG party. <laughs> Cough on me. You. Oh. Seems like RPG battles will get a lot easier now that we have a third party member. So I imagine the developer knows this, and therefore the RPG battles will get a lot tougher a little bit later on, you know, because now that we have a full party. Medical kit. On the ground, it reads, I don't know how legible this will be. My fingers feel so brittle. I feel they could snap off any moment. It's so cold. So cold. I feel so cold. I pray I do not have to worry much longer. He promised me he would be back for me. He promised me I would be okay. I'm so cold, but his light is so warm. Please, come back to me soon. I'm only safe underneath your light. I needed to truly rest in peace. Okay. Hm. Toe tag. Well, what's this doing here? Sorry, what's this say? Uh, hey, where am I? Can you help me find myself? Dr. Tetra, you want to know anything about this? Sorry, but I haven't the slightest clue. Strange that it's not in the morgue. Maybe it'll help if there was a name on it. I guess I'll just hold on to it for now. Alright. Toe tag. For a toe. The panel's been left open, so maybe there's something... Ah, oh, yikes, that's a live wire. I'm not gonna rest messing with anything here until I get a sturdy pair of rubber gloves. Huh? Everything okay? Nah, because now I fucking need... I need some rubber gloves. I had gloves in my janitor's closet, but obviously we can't go there now. <laughs> well, we store plenty of things in the basement. I'm sure we can find a pair of you here to use. Or for you to use. Yeah, maybe. Huh? Hold on. I stepped on something. Got a key. Wow, that's convenient. Everything's been convenient, I guess. The hospital's supposed to be running on backup power, yet you can hear the hum of electricity surging through these panels. Also, I was gonna say, how does rubber gloves help you if you're underwater? <laughs> you know, it looks like we're underwater, by the way. How does that work? Oh. 
we'll just continue on. And we fight. <laughs> my voice is getting a little dry. Or rather, I mean, not my voice, but rather my throat, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me. Ironically, you know, despite being in a place where we're supposedly in the ocean. So I guess the ocean is salty, you know? They always say you should never drink ocean water, even if you're thirsty. Huh? Uh, here's the shop again. How'd you get down here? Did you maybe help us with getting the way out? Sorry, honey. I can't help you that much. Browse around all you like. Okay, you're just a mysterious shopkeeper that just appears out of nowhere. Well, I'd like to save up my money again to get the better equipment items. What are you? Oh, wow. Okay, interesting design. Uh, ISO power. And also gel gel I gel IV fish. I will now kill the the fish, I guess, which really just looks like a shrimp. Shrimp. They just let they're like they're like tiny sea bugs when you think about it. I mean I, I guess all crustaceans are. When you think about it. They're kinda of delicious, you know? I like shrimp. I like eating shrimp. And one of these days, we're gonna start eating insects, I feel like, you know? I don't know. And so you better get you, you better start getting used to them now. Cause where are you gonna get your protein? You know, once the, once the apocalypse hits, you, everyone's just gonna be eating bugs. Um, also, what what is this? Uh, oh, this is troubling. But surely there's some way across it. And maybe we'll find something. If we keep looking. Here's a note. It reads, "You poor things. Every time I look at you, it's as though my heart breaks all over again. How scared you must be. You become something so defensive. You tremor and." Rive in agony. Your screams of pain are perhaps the worst sounds I have heard. And yet it reminds you why I am in this line of work. I do not wish to see anybody suffer, especially when this should be when you rest in peace. Come to me when you are scared, when you are hurt. I am here for you. Then mark my words. I will rid of anything that tries to ruin what is supposed to be your eternal serenity. Okay. I feel like that's a continuation of the book, I think, maybe? Did it say that? Oh, it's just, there's a, you know, normally it says when you pick, when you read those notes, it says like it's, uh, it looks like it got ripped out a piece of a book or whatever. But this seems to be different, actually. I don't know. Anyway. Um, let's see, let's go around. Nothing of use. Oh. Uh, you guys saw that, right? See what? You aren't losing it on us, are you? It'll be a long night in that case. Okay. Okay, Reginald. <laughs> okay, Reginald. He's so, so antagonistic. I was not being so like passive aggressive, bro. All right, what's this? Oh. Hey, gloves. How oh, convenient. We did all see that, right? It's um probably just a coincidence, right? They just fell from the shelf. That's too convenient for a coincidence for my liking. I wouldn't touch those if I were you. Yeah, this feels like I'm being baited. We still need those gloves, though. I wonder if there's a way to get them without sending anything off. Hmm. What if I... Okay, <laughs> no, okay, I wanted to try anyway. No, there's another ground. It reads, I saw it in that room. A box that was asking me all sorts of strange questions. It said that if it could answer them, it would give me what I needed. I thought then that I might be able to get closer to you, but I wasn't sure about how to answer some of the questions. And when I left and came back, I couldn't quite remember where the box was anymore. Did I miss my chance? Maybe I should have never left. I swore I could remember where it was, between those two shells, but there's nothing there now. 
maybe there is. Maybe I just look a little bit closer. Spare room key. Okay. Well, I don't know how that opens necessarily. Uh, anything else? Oh, there's another note. I know I don't have to say a uh, stay with them, but I don't know. It feels like I have to. I mean, just because there's so many of them, and only one of him. He told me he'd be fine on his own, that he was taking good care of them. I don't know, Doc. I mean, I don't think you're trying to do anything wrong, but intention isn't always the same as outcome. I mean, I'm sure these scrappy little spirits never intended to hurt me, yet they're still doing it. They don't hurt you, though, so maybe they're getting better? I guess it's a good sign. Maybe not. Guess we'll have to wait and see. E. Who's E? E? Okay, I I'm assuming they're talking about the spirits again, right? How they don't harm you necessarily. They're still like kind of dangerous. Hmm. Well, let's uh, maybe backtrack a little bit. I do have that key. Do I use it on something or? Check this room. Yeah, there you go. Nothing, nothing. Hmm. The darkness is suffocating. I cannot have death be as unforgiving as life. Oh god, don't make me think about life. What searing agony. I don't want to remember it anymore. I can feel my skin splitting, muscle by muscle and tissue by tissue. To be alive is to feel the sharp bite of cold steel piercing through you repeatedly. It only got warm with my blood. The darkness is suffocating. But in his light, I almost feel able to breathe again. I cannot be dead without it. All these notes, you know, kind of don't make sense to me, but I think that's intentional. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. The hidden path. It's mentioned as well as a note, you know, in between two shells. Do you want to open me? It won't be so easy. Each number correlates to something you should know, though. The first number is the number of stools in the room. The second number is the number of beds in the room. The third number is the number of curtains in the room. And the fourth is the number of friends you have. Uh, zero? <laughs> you know, because I don't know if Mary and Dr. Tetra are friends, necessarily. Um, let's see. Stools, beds, and curtains. Stools, beds, and curtains. So stools would be... I mean, these ones. So, what? One, two, three, four. Right? That's correct. Four. Uh, beds in the room. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, four... Five, and then curtains, two. Right, these are the curtains, I'm assuming. Oh, four, five, two. Four, five, two, and then number of friends, which could be two or zero, you know? I don't know. Four, five, two. What was that? I think it's four, five, two. Four, five, two, and zero. There you go. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it because you, the first, it's like a, like a, as like a player, you would think too, because it counts like, you know, your friends would normally be a party members in an RPG, but like, I don't know if you call them friends, you know, they're just a quite, you know, you just met them today, right? I always say this as well, like in every like RPG story or any kind of like video game story, you know, somehow people can become best of friends overnight, you know, and like when, when the events of like the game happen, but I don't believe in that, <laughs> you know, it's like, you don't become friends just like that. You may become acquaintances, but you know. Anyway, uh, more locker key. Locker key makes sense for everything else, though this is useless if I can't get into the morgue. Hmm. Okay, well we got that, but oh, battle, battle time! I must battle. Again, I kind of wish there was more variation in terms of like attacks. You know, there's no like spells. Hmm? I guess, I don't know, I guess it wouldn't make sense necessarily to like have spells, but also like Mary causing enemies to be sick also doesn't make any sense. I don't know how she does that, but I don't know. Yeah, that, that's what I feel is like kind of missing, you know, like variations of attacks or any special abilities. It's just kind of like, I feel most of the time you're just going to be attacking. I mean, I guess the doctor can heal. I mean, that's definitely a big boon, but... Feel like you're not gonna use that unless you're fighting a boss. 
using his spells anyway. Um, let's see. So apparently we got the locker key. Was it for the morgue? Yeah, the morgue. But apparently we can't get into the morgue in the first place. So how are we gonna? How's that gonna help, right? Oh, okay. That I, I just got out that randomly. Wait, wait a minute. Was there in the? Did I miss that somehow? I, I was just kind of clicking randomly because I was kind of like lost. Um, was there actually a sparkle there? I actually did not see if there was a sparkle there. I, I must have been like been camouflaged by the bubbles. You know, the bubbles kind of look you know all the same to me. So maybe there was a sparkle that I missed. Maybe I did miss something there. Well, there you go. Okay, that's. I think that's what I was missing. Yeah, I was missing a key, I guess. I was just kind of like, you know, doing the thing again where I like this was click on everything until something happens. I, I did not know how to proceed after getting the, uh, the morgue locker uh, or morgue locker key. So I just came back and just clicked on stuff and it turns out there's a key there. Okay, and, uh, I assume this is the laundry room, right? This has a little bin in the front. Washing machines and dryers are gigantic. Standing next to one always gives you the looming feeling that they might tip over and crush you. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Anything I'm supposed to do here, or? Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. One of them was moving. The washing machine is rumbling. Open it? Sure. What's the worst that can happen? That stupid mouse thing. Whatever it is. Did you see that? See what? It was holding something. It might be another key. Well, don't just let it get away. Mary and I will block the exit. You go catch it. I myself? You are a janitor, correct? Right. Oh, all right. I mean, that's what we do. We catch rats, apparently. Look. I'm not... I'm a janitor, yes, Reginald, but my job description does not include uh, pest extermination. That's called a exterminator, bro. Anyway. Wow. You're going to re regret that situation. Uh, is there a little situa uh, situation to take... What, what do you say? <laughs> uh, is there a little situation taken care of? Uh, not yet. What are you guys talking about? It's confidential. Well... I just thought that... Oh, hi, uh, Vasilis. Did you catch the mouse yet? Not yet. What do you guys? Uh, uh, don't worry about it. Wow. You're gonna okay. You're gonna regret that decision. That's what he said. Hmm. I'm back here. Ready to go. Now it's down there. Ah, oh, okay. There you go. He's just corner it. Ew, finally caught the damn thing. Please stop squirming. Just give me the goddamn. Got the morgue key. Morgue? I guess that makes sense with the tag and all. Are you gonna keep holding that thing? Yeah, I think you can put it down now. Uh, does this look okay? What does? The leg looks a little bent weird, doesn't it? Did you hurt it? I don't know, I didn't do it on purpose, I just wanted to catch it. I'll put it down before you hurt it more. What? No. If it's injured, did you kill it? No! What? No! That's way too cruel. I understand that you're concerned, but... Won't letting it go be worse for the little thing? What kind of fate is that? To be freed only to crawl off and what? Suffer for hours until it can't move anymore? It'd be more merciful to kill it. But it doesn't look like it's hurt that badly. I'm sure it'll be fine. Look how scared it already is. You aren't gonna kill it, are you, Vasilis? Wow. I could take care of it outside if you like. Really? I don't want to do it either. A big smile on his face. <laughs> I don't always do this as a habit where like just kill small animals like a serial killer and learn about it. But eh. you know this does this situation did happen to me in real life. Where they're like a, a mouse got a cow on the mouse trap, whatever, those sticky mouse traps are they're really kind of bad to use, but like it got stuck on it. Like what else are you supposed to do? You let it start or do you like hammer its face in? You know, I was like, I don't know. Um, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna let it go. It's not hurt that bad. Like, I think you were too bloodthirsty. You know, for a doctor, you're very bloodthirsty, Reginald. I'm gonna let it go. No. 
Just don't get in more trouble. Okay, little guy? This seems fine. What are you talking about? You can run away. Like, if it's suffering so bad that's limping, maybe, or like, you can't walk anymore, maybe you would consider a mercy kill, but like, it's fine. Thank you, Vasilis. Okay, shut up. <laughs> shut up, Reginald. You know, he didn't say anything, but shut up, Reginald. All right. Oh, let's see. Um. Okay, so let's go to the uh, corpse room. No, uh, the morgue. Which in a way, is a corpse room. Where would it be? Over here. Okay. Defibrillator. Hmm. Not anything use. On the ground, it reads. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what I did wrong. Come back. Come back. Come back. Please. Let me alone here. I can't do this. I'm gonna need more than I was. Don't leave me alone. I don't want somewhere alone. Okay. Hmm. Ominous rumbling in the morgue room. Okay, hold on. Let me just like. We just got defibrillators. I, I feel like that's a sign that things will go wrong. So I'm just gonna like save the game real quick. <laughs> you know, let's go all the way back here and save the game. I'm paranoid. Let us buy a melty IV. A brand new IV bag for Mary. There you go. Here's your present. Save trap. I hope you like it. Sell the uh, normal IV bag. You know. Safe travels. Why is the nurse so sexual? You <laughs> know. Anyway, um, go over here. All right. Anything else to look at? No. no. Okay. Lockers contain. Well, you know what they contain. It's a morgue. Let's let them rest. The key I got, of course, is for this locker. I don't really want to open it, though. It'll probably be fine. We've gone this far, right? Might as well. And boss fight! No? No, I guess not. Oh. Okay. Oh, why don't I see your brain? Kinda weird. Uh, op? Op? Op. Hold on a moment, let me get up. Thanks for your help. Uh, thanks for the help, you guys. Gonna figure out how to get that blasting open again. I was gonna be stuck in there forever. Nice. The name's Emerald. Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, hi. Emerald. I think it's something that belongs to you. Oh? Add it over the toe tag. <laughs> hey, I've been looking all over for this thing. You guys are just one favor after the other, aren't you? Thing you do in return? Kinda owe you two for your zero right now. Well... Actually, yeah, maybe. Because you must be. Dead, right? And a dead person wouldn't have to worry about dying, right? Uh... I guess not. Why? We have a task for you. You're basically a zombie, so like, just do this thing for us. Because obviously your life does, does not matter. <laughs> and you're expendable. Uh, so you want me to get the gloves? Right. There's a pair of rubber gloves on the floor of that room. We need them, but we're scared that there's some kind of trap or something. You just get them really quickly for us. You guys are silly. If you're that worried about it, sure. I don't mind getting them for you. It'll, I'll be out lickety split. Hmm. Do you think he's okay in there? Oh, you're right. Of course I am. Do you think something happened to me? It just seemed like you're taking a while. That's all. <laughs> I know what's happening. You thought I got got uh, by one of those monsters lurking down here, right? Oh. I mean, well, yeah, I know what their deal is. They're a pain in the ass, aren't they? Yeah, they have to be a little strong to take me down, though. Here are those gloves you asked for, little buddy. Receive rubber gloves. Though uh, I will say, I think like scary or whatever you were thinking came after me in that room, but <laughs> it did kind of feel like I was being watched. Really. Yep, but the feeling vanished after I got the gloves. A little spooky, I guess, but I got a feeling it was probably just smiles. He's pretty well mild-mannered, but I don't know. I think he's been starting to let things get out, uh, get out of hand. Wait, who? <laughs> Next level four, but I gotta get going. If I really want to help you, I have a talk with him. See you around. Were we supposed to know who Smiles was? 
I guess it doesn't really matter. All we needed was the gloves. Let's get going. Smiles. Okay. Emerald. These are just random characters. That we meet up with. Uh, a friendly fish. We know her name tag. She seems a little, think little of the environment you're in and behaves as though nothing is wrong. You can see your brain though. Kind of, uh, kind of creepy to be honest. I don't want to see your brain. Nothing in here, I guess. No smiles in that room anymore. But uh, we got the glove, so now we can activate the power. Right? So, let's save the game. I guess, uh, turn on the power? I don't know if it's gonna be that easy, but I guess we'll find out. 